Welcome back. We are here on Ether looking at the cryptocurrency market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for the cryptocurrency market for Friday, November 6, 2020. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. We also have a signal service on the Patreon where a lot of traders already have joined. And it's looking like a fantastic forum. It's working well. Yes. What can you say about today? Well, most of the market just went absolutely bananas. So I don't like these moves whatsoever. The reason why is because when you have these parabolical moves, it's it, it, the only thing that happens is that you will have a similar move to the downside. I like when the market moves like this, predictable, up and down, up and down, not this absolutely gigantic moves to the upside. Just the distance between the very high here and the 50 moving average are absolutely ridiculous. But that is Bitcoin and some of the other commodities uh, behave like this. They go absolutely parabolic. Uh, but yes, it is technically a possible um, sell-off at this moment. And the reason why I say that is because the RSI is at 81. And that is significantly, significantly overbought. Um, I anticipated a pullback towards the 50 moving average, but at this point, I would not expect, I would technically expect um, a similar red candlestick here tomorrow, or at least to the half of this candlestick, and then we tried trading, trading towards um, the 50 moving average, because this just can't um, continue forever. When uh, we're not the only ones looking at this over, uh, overbought uh, position, and therefore, most traders are thinking, okay, we'll start selling now. And that basically happens that then it starts to decrease. But other technical indicators, technically all of them, are very bullish at this point. None of them are showing signs of exhaustion whatsoever. So we may have a little, a little decline. Don't expect a massive decline. But this area here will act as support now so these tops here will act as support we'll have additional support down here around uh, 12,500 we're at 15,000 at the moment so bitcoin hasn't been here for for technically years uh the highest bitcoin it was was around 20,000 i think yes this is the very highest of bitcoin 20,000 so well next stop is actually 16,800 or this area here so we can have this parabolic moves. We did have it there, but this was a period where Bitcoin was unknown and um, unknown and um, what can I say? Uh, usually, and there was such a hype about about Bitcoin and so on. And usually, when there is hype and people just start buying, and and then you get just this massive oversold condition. Uh, we were at around uh, ninety one in this area here when we just absolutely fell off a cliff and at this point we are at the uh, weekly at 78 so not really there yet but we are getting there we are still at the weekly chart significantly over bought so just bear that in mind and if you look at the uh, cci for the weekly it is flat at this point there's not a lot of movement to the upside in the cci so at this point, I would, I'm definitely not a buyer here. I need to, to see a pullback towards the 50 moving average in order to, to buy into this market. So if you look at Ethereum, we also rallied here. We found some resistance around this area here, which was previous resistance around 417. Uh, if we manage to break this level here, we'll go to 444 and then to 484. Break down, the 50 moving average will be support and there's no reason to think that we are going to break the 50 moving average. Technical indicators are looking really promising, especially the CCI is looking very bullish at this point. Same goes for the stochastic. MACD is, uh, is crossing the signal line and that could be an indication that we are going to break uh, these highs and go much higher. There's a lot of room to the upside. We're only at 60 at the moment. So this, if this breaks, then that is a possible buying opportunity, at least to these highs and also these very highs. 
So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support by clicking the support button, subscribe button down in the corner, the like button, the bell button in order to see our newest videos. Good luck and thank you very much. Thank you.